Hello and welcome to another episode of the Ableton Live Insider Tips. We're still on the mini series about the default presets and this time we're going to look at slicing. By the way, slicing is only available for Live 9 standard and suite, not for the other versions. Um, Okay, so now here in the user library under defaults and slicing, you already see that I have quite a few presets. Some of them, quite a few of them actually, um, are still from Life 8, but you can also build your own and you can build more than just one. So you can make different presets for different tasks of slicing, depending on what kind of sample you, you want to use and so on and so forth. What and what kind of effects you want to add, if it should have a simpler or a sampler, if you do have sampler. Okay, so what we need to do first is we add an empty drum rack to a MIDI track. And then we can decide if we want a simpler or a sampler. I'm going to use sampler and then just drop the default into a pad then I can make as adjustments, what I want, just quickly, you know, just do all the adjustments that you need. And then you can also add effects. So in my case, I'm actually going to just add a glue compressor, just so you can see how it works. And then see what can we adjust this. Okay, so make all the adjustments, add all the effects that you need. And then you can also map them. So let's map that to macro 8, you know, and you can continue mapping all the para parameters that you want to have quick, quick access to. And once you're done with the whole preset, everything's set up, the parameters are set, and so on. Then what we can do is we go to the user library and simply take the drum rack and drag it into the slicing folder. And we can choose a nice name. For now, I'm just gonna call it test because that's what it is, just a test to show you how it works. And now let's see. Let's see what kind of sample. Let's just use that. And that needs to be warped and then we I'm just going to quickly set, whoops, set to warp marker so that we have three and then right click and choose slice to new MIDI track. Okay, so I'm going to choose the warp marker. That's great. And that's actually already shown because I've just done the whole thing in German and um, by default, it would show built-in and transient, to be honest. But I'm going to choose warp marker and the one that I just made. Press OK. And the MIDI track is created with three slices. And here we see contains the sampler with the sample and the adjustments made and also the glue compressor that I added and the mapping. So this is how it works. Pretty simple, quite effective. So if you do slice quite a lot, um, you can make your own presets and just make different ones depending on what kind of sample you're slicing. Well, I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye. If you're new to Ableton Live or Push, then check out my online video courses. More information can be found on my website sonicbloom.net slash courses.